Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I will try to explain how to pass data back and forth between two view controllers by using protocols and delegate. I have this simple app. I call it my favorite fruits and veggies. It has two view controllers. First one has two buttons to choose favorite fruit and veggies. Second one is table view controller to show list of fruits and veggies. There are two segues, one from select fruit button and another one from select veggie button. Currently, first view controller has nothing much in code. In second one, I have list of fruits and veggies. I've also defined two list types, one for each. Then based on list type data source is assigned. Rest of the code is for populating table view controller. Let's run it. If I click on fruit button, it takes to the fruit list. But when I select and come back, it doesn't update the selected fruit name. Let's click on veggie button. It takes to fruit list again. Because we are not telling table view controller which list to show. So first, let's fix where we pass the list type. We can do this in prepare for segue function. We have two segues, one for fruit and one for veggie button. Let's put condition for that so that we know which list type to pass. Segway object has destination view controller. Here we have navigation controller, so first let's get that. Then top view controller from navigation controller gives the table view controller. Let's assign list type to destination controller. Similar code we need to write for veggie segue. You need to make sure that list type is defined in the selection table view controller. I've already defined it and based on list type data source, get assigned from either fruit or veggie list. Let's build and run now. Now if I click on choose fruit button, it takes to fruit list and if I click on veggie button, it takes to veggie list. So first part is done. You're able to pass data from source to destination view controller. Let's do the other way, passing data back. We will do it via protocol and delegate. We will create a protocol and destination view controller. Let's call it item selection delegate. We will declare a function that we will call when item is selected and we go back to previous view controller. We will pass two things here list type and selected item. To use protocol and delegate, we need to define a delegate in the, in the destination view controller. Later, we will set this delegate from calling view controller. It's a very important step. Let's call the item selection function when done is pressed by using this delegate. Selected index gets set when we select an item in did select row method. Now let's go back to caller view controller and extend it to confirm the protocol we created. Xcode gives error here as we have not implemented the function defined in protocol. Let's add it. Xcode is really helpful here. Now based on past list type assign the title of button to selected value. First, let's add for fruits and then do the same thing for veggies. Now the very important step, assign the value to the delegate. Now let's build and run. Select favorite fruit, let's select banana and press done. It updates it back. Let's do the same thing with veggies. Let's select cucumber and press down. It works. This way we can pass the value back to the calling view controller. Let's do one more thing. Currently when we click the button, then list doesn't show which item was selected. Let's fix that. We have a variable for selected item and selected item index. So let's pass the selected item value. Then we will get the selected item index.
Let's go to other view controller and get the index from this past value. Let's get that via index of method of arrays. Logic is already there to show selected item based on selected index. Let's build and run. Let's select a fruit and then go back. Select a veggie and then go back. Let's go back to fruit. It shows which one was selected. Let's change it to strawberry and press done. Let's check the veggie button as well. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please feel free to add them in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.